score without a clock. The number was determined by taking the leading team's total score through three quarters and adding 24 points in honor of Kobe Bryant. It was 133-124 in favor of Team Giannis at the start of the fourth. And both teams were fighting to the very end. Team LeBron reached the winning score of 157 first <laughs> on a game-winning free throw by Anthony Davis. But this was... Absolutely must watch yeah. television. I mean, look at him. This is like a playoff game. It was it was really bizarre, actually, <laughs> because it had playoff intensity, but it's an all-star game. And you're, you know, through the first couple quarters, like it was a little bit of the, you know, full court passes, yeah, a lot of values and dunks. It is a you're putting on a little bit of a show. It was. But I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in an all-star game before. I, it, and the, the intensity of the crowd, too, because they were playing for each quarter was for charity. So they had these huge groups of kids there that are going to get benefit from <laughs> Team Giannis or Team LeBron winning. And they're going to get more money for their charity. And like everyone in the building is into it. I mean, I'm just sitting on my couch like, I can't even believe what I'm watching. It was literally what we all imagine an all-star game should be. Like the right. greatest in the sport really competing and even the benches like they weren't subbing at the end and no Giannis uh, no wouldn't was, sub no one was sitting down like everyone was so into it I thought I it was love the changes yeah it's great. I thought it was a real good um and I always feel the end of an NBA season teams you kind of stuck with your coach and your roster so teams no no you know you can't be a victim like this is your teammate these are your guys play hard throughout but I thought it was a great symbolic gesture to start the second half a short second half of the season into the playoffs it was it was really great Co Kawhi Leonard won the Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP Award, the yep. newly named MVP Award. Had a game high, 30 points, seven rebounds, four assists, and was eight for 14 on three-point shots. Yeah, he got shots. hot early. Yes, it was, uh, it was a really, really fun watch. So the format change to the All-Star game was obviously extremely successful and entertaining, and Rudy Gobert was asked about the potential of adding a new contest to the All-Star weekend, a one-on-one -on -one contest, and he thinks it would be a good move. He said, I think it's something the league can look into. The fans would definitely love that. It all depends on how how committed the players would be not everyone wants to commit to that when yeah. this is only the only weekend when we can really enjoy ourselves in the season one-on-one -on -one basketball is pretty physical if i'm healthy then definitely i'd play anyone and i'll have fun playing against anyone yeah, ask yourself this isn't this the most obvious thing in sports we don't have it is, but I do understand why it would be something that players would resist for multiple reasons. One, if you lose, it's going to be something that do you know? players and fans don't ever let you live down. Uh, Michael Jordan's agent, David Falk, Nike said, magic against Michael, a million dollars to the winner one-on-one. -on -one. And David Falk, Michael's agent, said, absolutely, went to Michael. And Michael said, absolutely not. He said, I know I could beat Magic, but if I lost, he's known as the team guy, Magic. Right. I'm known as the individual guy. If he beats me in one-on-one, -on -one, then he's the team guy and the better one-on-one. -on -one. And Michael Jordan said, I will not do it. True story. Yeah, and also, if he beats Magic... Then, you know, fans of Magic are going to be mad at, at, at Michael. Like, it's a, everyone loses in that situation. There's a lot of egos involved right. in this but stuff. But a, a, a All-Star Weekend tournament, one-on-one -on -one tournament, is a little bit different. Because not yeah. everyone is going to want that smoke, first of all. Yeah. And there's repercussions to losing, like I said. So, I, it's very interesting. I do think it's something that leaks should look into. But they'd have to really gauge the interest of the players. But it would be absolutely must-watch. Finally, we've talked about this a lot today. The Dolphins have the fifth pick in the draft and are expected to select their next quarterback. Tua seemed to be the top target for the team. Tank for Tua. But the Miami Herald is reporting that the Dolphins are still looking at every option in, at the position and have an increasingly positive view of the Oregon quarterback, Justin Herbert. Now, I'm with you. This feels like a leak story. But it, they, there's a lot of different reasons why the Dolphins would want this out there. Maybe they don't want teams to move up aggressively for Tua because they feel like he might still be there. That they don't have to make big trades. But I think the biggest thing is what you said earlier, which is if you don't get Tua, the draft looks like a failure. If the, Dolph if the Dolphins don't move up and someone moves up aggressively ahead yeah. of them and makes a trade and gets Tua, then you didn't get your guy, which the Dolphins cannot afford at this point. Here's what I don't understand about the critics, though, of Justin Herbert. What don't you like? I think people feel like he wasn't really consistent throughout the season. Okay. They didn't They didn't like what they saw throughout the season. To me, I like to judge players towards the end of the season and what do you do in the biggest moments. I liked what I saw from him in he the was, bowl game. He was the best player at the Senior Bowl. He 
was unbelievable in the Rose Bowl. He is smart, big, mobile, athletic, big arm, and Oregon doesn't have doesn't have NFL wide receivers. Right. So all these other quarterbacks you guys all love, two is throwing to three NFL wide receivers. Yeah, I mean that's the biggest criticism of Joe Burrow. I'm like two is not throwing to to random guys either. Like they're they're NFL level this, talent as well. This kid and the Utah State kid are not throwing to NFL players, and it's like I'm watching. I watched Justin Herbert play six times this year. If you don't get, I don't know what there is not to get with him. Well, look, it's he it's passes. a very difficult position position yeah, I, to evaluate, I, I as we know. If he turns out to be a bust, which I don't think that he will, but if he did turn out, like who knows? We don't. We we, we go through this all the time. Guys slip to the third or fourth rounds and then end up being superstars. It's a very very difficult position to evaluate. Tom I, Brady went in the sixth round. Let me tell you something. Most notorious example. If he drops to like the seventh pick. And ends up with the Carolina Chargers. Justin Herbert's going to win immediately in the NFL. Yeah, I don't think he's going to drop th that far. But I'm, I'm comfortable with either Tua or Herbert, e either one the Dolphins get. But they must get a quarterback. Like, that's without question. All so. right, Joy Taylor with the news. Good stuff. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Line There's news. one source on Tom Brady I trust. Albert Breer, he'll join us around the corner as well. Don't go anywhere. Rick Buecher last hour talking some NBA. Joy and I have talked baseball today. It's just, we don't think the Astros are on the up and up. I'm not saying that. But you want Rob Manfred to vacate the title. What do you do with the steroid era? You've never addressed all the steroid home run records in baseball. Not one. Now you want to take titles away? Well, you don't think titles were... You Yankee fans, I'd slow down on all the lecturing to the Houston Astros, you goulet. Uh, you, guys, you guys had... It's funny. Your guys shrunk after they left the sport. Yeah, it was only the Yankees that took steroids. Every other team was... I'm playing. not saying that, but it's like the hypocrisy in this sport is real. Like Houston, nobody... Hey, GM fired, manager fired, got caught. They're going to get ripped, thrown at, legacies ruined, fined, lost draft picks. Like the Houston's not... They're not getting off scot-free here. That GM and that manager will never get their jobs back. Draft picks, eh, taking away title. That's what they do in college. And even in college, I don't like it. Uh, Albert Breer, next. Computer systems in cars, the new normal, electronically controlled t transmissions, touchscreen displays, dozens of sensors. But all this advanced tech is expensive to fix, and when it breaks, get out of town. It's really going to cost you. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection provider. Rates as low as $99 a month. Got nothing to lose? Get covered today. Call 800-CAR-6000 or go to carshield.com. In both instances, use the code HERD. Save 10%. A deductible, of course, could apply. You sign up for CarShield. Something goes wrong. Rental car, free. 24-7 roadside assistance, free. Again, plans with rates as low as $99 a month. It's America's number one auto protection provider carshield.com code heard